so we have the central metal ion X X we have 2 plus because the charge is 2 plus we have uh, vertical upwards vertical perpendicular upwards perpendicular downwards and And then we have A over here, we have A over here, and we have A over here, and we have B over here, we have B over here, we have B over here. So um, as you can see, uh, just a second. Um, So what we have done here is that we have uh, exchanged this A with and this B. We have exchanged their positions. So the B comes here and uh, the A comes here. So now if you see, we have a, the, uh, the A is li lining on a perpendicular and then one sticking out in the plane of uh, 90 degrees. So it is perpendicular to this and this and these two have an angle of 180 degrees to each other. Here you see this A with this A has 90 degrees uh, this A with this A has 90 degrees because it's this, uh, all both these A A's are in the same plane and so all the bond angles between the A's are 90 degrees between, uh, between any two A's the bond angle is 90 degrees and the similar situation is with, between any two B's but if you see over here between this A and this A there's a bond, ang bond angle of 180 degrees this A and this A between this A and this A there is a bond angle of 90 degrees and between this A and this A there is a bond angle of 90 degrees. So this type of isomer is called meridional. M-E-R Again you don't have to know this name. You only need to know the isomer. Meridional. So this is facial where all A's are 90, any two A's, the, between any two A's the bond angle is 90 degrees. This is meridional, where the bond angle between any two A's is, uh, can be either 180 degree or uh, 90 degree. Uh, and if you look at B also here, these two B's are 180 degrees from each other, uh, because if you see that uh, they lie in a straight line, because they are in the same plane, uh, these two B's are 180 degrees from each other. This B from this B is 90 degrees this B from this B is 90 degrees and these two are in 180 so you can see the same situation that happened with A it's happening with B and that's why it's called meridional this is the second isomer so when we have 3 of A and 3 of B we get facial and meridional and I need you to remember this you don't have to remember the names at all you only need to remember the two isomers Okay, so geometrical isomerism in octahedral complexes, the third type of isomerism that we're going to look at. Now this time, last time we had an X2 plus as the central metal ion. We had 3 of A and we have 3 of B. We had 3 of B. This time we have X2 plus. We have 4 of A and 2 of B so uh, one uh, we, we get two isomers uh, two geometrical isomers in this case as well and they will be X perpendicular upwards perpendicular downwards um, and we have the 2 plus charge so we can either have B and B uh, I'm sorry for the sorry I, uh, I got this wrong when we have 4 of A then uh, 2 of the A's will be here 1 will be here 1 will be here one will be here but one B and now then we have done all four of our A's it's time to do our B's so we will have B B 
then uh, we draw a line over here 